You sound like a bitch. Abstergo is using you. Hijacking your neurons to help them sift through She sounds like the girl from the Assassin's Creed 2. Remember the girl? The no, the other girl. The one who worked on the NGOs. But now she made the enemies to control. Yeah, she doesn't sound like that. That girl is cool. This girl's a bitch. <laughs> it doesn't look like her. I mean, it doesn't really sound like her to me. She has the uh, short hair, like this. Sort of, but I don't think that's supposed to be here, though. Her cheeks and face. Oh, no, wait, she doesn't have short hair. I don't know. I mean, look at Desmond. They changed him like every other game. Yeah, but they did change her voice. And she used to, you know, a code named Bishop, you know, you're not familiar or something like that. Alright, well, some, it's probably something different. I'm thinking it is, but what happened to them? I know, well, from the last game, they're undercover. Well, you can hear, um, the British guy in here, uh, or... No, for Black Flag you can. That's yeah, well, in Black Flag they were in there. They yeah. were they were working for Abstergo as like undercover like delivery men or something. Like they're sticking a package just to you, the faceless fucking character, yeah. whoever, and you're That's getting really messages weird. from I them. Thought too, like... talking. I was like, oh, okay, I mean, who the hell? Who am I? Like, I'm am I me? Is it like it's just trying to make me a part of the game? Like this is really cool. You know, like they're, they're gonna like this. Thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me a character to freaking put a face to who I am, because I'm not in the game. I'm playing the game. That's two different things. Yeah, it's really weird. The whole first person aspect thing is weird. Yeah. Oh, look at that pig, dude. Anna. <laughs> what do they call him? Uh, uh oh. Uh, honor. Uh. Who I go with you? A N O R is his name. Or A. Courage, my boy. Arno. Yeah, A R N O, Arno. Ar Arno. You wait just Arno. here. Sound like Connor. I will return. Like, what? When we can't this do that. Hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as I'm. That's forever. And when I get back, they're getting so good with graphics. Pretty soon here, we're not gonna be able to tell. And Arno, I don't know. I'm waiting for that day. Because you can still tell when hair isn't real like this. Like it looks too static in a weird way. Yeah, I mean in some. Some games in the cinematics they do really well, especially Final Fantasy. Even before mm -hmm. graphics got like this. Oh yeah, no, they were always. Their doing cinematics great. like they go like hair by hair, right. doing the animation. Like, it's amazing. And um, I mean, even here, you know, it's but it's not as like it's yeah. still kind of like it's a texture together. thing. It's all one solid piece. It's a texture thing with like a wave effect to it. Yeah. Kind of like a, um, you know, like a cape or something, you know, like his, uh, treads, uh, bottom of his, whatever that is, I would, would you wear that? Would you ever wear that? This? Yeah, one day, just, I'm gonna throw this on, you know, walk around and be fancy as fuck. I think I would. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally would. I wore something like this to Renaissance, uh, actually. Well, you, you wore, uh, Ezio's outfit, that's kind of... Well, oh, yeah, well, I mean, no, I mean, uh, uh this last Renaissance... Is that something that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't running? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, it happened to me, but I was also running. See? Bitches always be getting you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing and shit. Ah. Bet you can't steal one. You have to press B and oh. steal an apple. Go around right to the front. The one on the ground. Around oh. the table. Just... Oh. See, see. Put that back. It, it just pretty much tells you how to break the line of sight and hide from people. Oh, you know. so pretty much the thing we've been doing for what five games now? Yeah, five or six. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and if he catches you, you just go, "Oh, I'm sorry," and you drop it on the ground. And he's like, "Okay, okay," and you just have to go and steal another one. Just go hide in the. Bin. Yeah. I was throwing off, you know? Like, oh, where'd he go this time? Oh, I don't even know. Okay, I really liked how they introduced everything in Assassin's Creed 1. Like, that was cool. They've kind of lost some of the hiding places throughout the games, I think. But then again, it has been a quite a while since I played an Assassin's game. Go, hurry up. Oh, shit. See, I don't know, for some reason he, like... Use your last stun position to attract guards away from the door. I don't know how to do that. I guess you just like pop out and he's like, oh. 
And then he goes onto there, and then... Okay, yeah. I guess that's kind of the way to do it. I was just like, How'd she okay. get out of there? <laughs> well, I don't know, dude. She's a ninja. Did you see she did the things? same thing. Did she just wink at you? Did you see that? I saw one eye blink. I'm on <laughs> Oh, no. I'm here with, I'm here my, father. with my father. I so thought we were supposed to be French. And you yeah, know, yeah, I was just crazy. about to say that. <laughs> I, I was <laughs> literally <laughs> about to say that. <laughs> Like, I opened my mouth to speak, and then my words came your out. Your words <laughs> came out. <laughs> Stop that! I'm the one that took the apple. Like it's your fault that somebody died. Calm down. You just took an apple. It's fine. Right? Three armed guards aren't gonna come after you for that shit. Well, I don't know. Maybe. I will say that the uh, the movement looks a lot better. It's the 60 frames per second. That's what it is. I played a lot of the 360, and I played a lot of Halo, especially you know Halo 2. And playing the the Master Chief Collection, in Halo 2, I can feel the 60 frames per second. It is just <laughs> so much more smooth to like yeah. do things. It's really nice. Like, I just I love it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But there's just something that bugs me more about seeing a kid's dad die. I don't know what it is. And maybe it's some kind of personal relationship that I have in my life, but just seeing something like that just, it makes me more sad. Did you watch your dad die? No. Can you relate to that? No. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes me really sad. I guess it's, it's just the concept of it. No, it is pretty shitty. Like, I mean, you can see it's just, it's tragic to this kid, man. Look at he was really close to his dad. And then there's this guy. Do it for the poon. Do it for the poon. <laughs> Was that her dad? Yeah. Hmm. Let me guess. Oh crap, I totally forgot. Hey, thanks for watching. We let this go on way too long. Uh, we're gonna do another video right after this. Stay tuned another day <laughs> for that though. Okay, uh, bye. Reality. 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 Plus. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded terrible. It's really great. <laughs> it's really not. Uh